Where are you, Christmas? I'm gonna be like getting ready with you today, so I'm gonna be answering some questions. I've had a few questions, and because I'm filming on my phone, I can't actually go on my phone and look at them, so I'll write them down. Um, yeah, doing it a bit old school, writing it down. So as I'm getting ready, I'll just answer them. And yeah, what is going on with this piece of hair? Like, does anyone else have these? I'm like, literally, boy. First step, hydration. It's good for the skin. So what I do first is literally I moisturize my face. Um, and I literally just use this now because I like the glow it gives me under my foundation. I used to use like baby lotion. Like I've tried loads of things for my skin and I always break out. But with this I don't and I like how it's like a gradual tan. So this is just self tan lotion. And it's the medium to dark one. I literally just put that all over my face because it gives a nice glow and it kind of tans me underneath. So once I take my makeup off, it's kind of giving me a bit of a, a tan underneath there. So I literally just put that all over my skin. I put this all over my body as well. Like, you know, it just is really, really hydrating and stuff. Um, but this is literally just like my natural skin now. And... Oh, I do get quite bad breakouts here, but ever since I've like find the found the right things for my skin, I'm, it's not that bad anymore. Um, it's just like a few blemishes here and there, and I, I drink more water now, so my, my my skin's actually not that bad, like compared to what it used to be. Like I do have a more glow and stuff into it, but this just gives you more of like a a nice glow. Let's just not mind my hair because we'll fix that later. So someone did ask me to do like a makeup tutorial and show my favourite products. So I'm kind of incorporating it into this video. So everything I use now is my updated routine. Literally everything I use every day. I used to be such a makeup addict. Like I used to be like a makeup junkie. I used to use... I used to literally buy makeup all the time. But now I just buy my essentials and that's it. I'm kind of done with makeup. I'm more of a fashion girl now. I'm just like, let me just shove some makeup on my face and then I'll spend more time looking at my outfit compared to... Shut up! Oh my God, if you can hear singing in the background of this video, it's my brother. I'm so sorry. He just thinks he's Beyonce when he's really not. So for foundation, I'm using the NYX Born to Glow in shade beige. Just that one. And I'm mixing it with the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. This is the shade... 2.1p and i'm just mixing them together because i'm not that tanned at the moment so i'm just gonna lighten it up a bit with the ordinary you did ask me as well do do you wear fake tan or is it natural if so what tan so i'm just using the little old trusty real techniques brush every girl every person who has makeup who do who does makeup has this set um, but what I was saying is, yeah, I use fake tan. I don't have a natural tan. I mean, I haven't been on holiday since last year. And even when I go on holiday, I don't really catch a tan. My skin's just not that good, to be fair. And I don't really like sitting in the sun anyway. Um, but I use the Primark tan, I'll show you in a bit. And I use St. Morris Dark. I've tried loads of different brands of fake tan and... These are just literally the best ones for me, like, I don't know, personally for my skin. They stay on quite long, they're quite dark, they're not, they don't go that patchy, and I mean, my hands are a bit bad, but I don't know what it is, like, my hand, my hands always go funny, and I just don't know why. I think, I just don't know, they always go patchy, so let's just not even look at those. But yeah, I use this Primark Bronze Radiant Glow Self Tan Mousse in Extra Dark. And that is literally £3 and it's so good. It's so dark. Um, and when it comes off, it comes off easy. Do you know what I mean? Not, like it doesn't just really, really cling to your skin. Which obviously I like. Um, so I just use that or just St. Morris. I'll show you, but everyone knows what St. Morris is. So. And let me just show you. Let me just turn my face. 
It literally looks like I have highlighter on, but that is literally just, it's because of that, that NYX Glow Foundation, Born to Glow Foundation. It's so nice and glowy, and I just literally love it. So obviously my routine, my makeup routine is pretty simple these days. Like I just shove a bit on. I mean, I've got eyelash extensions on at the moment. So I don't really want to be putting makeup on. But my face is a bit pale and stuff. And like, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit washed out today. So I thought I'd put some on. Using the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. And this is in shade Cashmere. And I do have a darker one called Cashew, but I don't know where it is. I literally don't know where it is. So that's great. This is my lighter one. So I'm probably going to look like Kim K. Um, so I literally just put a bit underneath. Oh, oh, oh my God, boy. Just a little bit underneath. A little bit of a highlight here and there. You can't really do my forehead because it just like, you know, gets in the way. And then I'm going to use that same brush with the... Honestly, I'm just so bad at makeup these days. I'm not bad, but I mean, like, it's not really like Nikki tutorial. So I literally just get it and I kind of press it in. I kind of try and buff it out at the same time. Honestly, like, every now and again, I just change up what I do. And, like, it kind of just depends what's at hand and stuff. I'm just mixing a bit of foundation. Why does no one know how to flush the toilet <laughs> after you've had a fucking shit? Mm -hmm. Well, it was fucking one of you. <laughs> Disgusting! Sure. <laughs> Idiot. Why does somebody not know how to flush the toilet after they've had a shit? What do you mean? Well, it was fucking one of you. Disgusting! And I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder i'm just gonna press that under my eyes because i always sit under my eyes I literally pat it underneath i had another question it's where do you see yourself in 10 years and honestly i literally don't even know i'm hoping to obviously bought a house by then i mean i'm 22 now so i'll be what 32 and i'm hoping to have brought a house i'm saving and stuff so you know i'll get there in a couple of years Maybe soon as I'm like, oh, obviously I'm not telling anyone my, my secrets and stuff because we've all got little plans. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to have my own business by then. That's in the works. Um, and just to be a bit more happier and stuff, you know, like. Maybe engaged, maybe a baby, oh my god, let's not even go there. A baby, you know, oh my god, I can't even imagine having a baby now. I mean, I know I'm 22 and like a lot of people have babies at this age. I mean, my mum had a baby at 21, my sister was born when she was like 21, 22, whatever. She had her then. Um, and I just don't feel ready, which is obviously okay. And it's okay if you are ready, you know, if you're 18 and you feel ready, that's obviously your choice. But, um, I don't know. I literally don't know. I obviously want children in the future. I literally love kids. I love my niece. And my cousin's got a baby who I love so much. So, you know, I don't know. I think it'd be a nice, cute little mama. I think I would. Um... But my answer is, I don't know, hopefully making big moves and stuff. But we just don't know, do we? Like, I mean, I could be famous in 10 years. I could be poor. I could be on the streets in 10 years. I could be running a dog home. I mean, random, I know. But I'm just going to use some pear soap for my eyebrows and a disgusting old spoolie. Love that for me. I'm using the Pixie Glow Mist just to spray on the soap. And then I'm just going to give it a bit of a... Of a rub, get some product. Oh, it's getting a bit soapy up in here. Get a bit of that on my eyebrows, and I love this for my eyebrows. It, it makes them just look I don't know, like it, they just look so different compared to just like brow gels and stuff. Just gonna brush that through my eyebrows, and you know what? Depending on how I'm feeling on the day, I don't know, I, I just do this either before my foundation or sometimes after. I don't know, it just kind of depends on like, what I choose to do. Because sometimes it takes my foundation off, which is hella annoying. 
Take some foundation off here. Um, but today I've just decided to do the step after. Because you can get foundation on your eyebrows, can't you, when you do them first? And that really annoys me because they look grey then. No one wants grey eyebrows unless you're 80 and rocking the grey look. I used to take so long doing my eyebrows. And when I was younger, me and my best friend, Shelly Golden, shared to her. We used to shave our eyebrows, like shave around them. Well, I think she used to pluck hers, I don't know. But I used to get a razor and shave around them instead of just plucking them. Um, and then I used to draw them on really thick and it just wasn't cute, you know. So now I'm just living the natural uh, natural eyebrow lifestyle. And you know what? I'm loving it. I do need to get them kind of a bit more shaped and stuff because like right now they're just not the cutest. But that's okay though. Like it's, you know. Then I'm using the Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation in P110. This is so nice. I love this as a bronzer. I'm kind of hitting pan now. Well, I'm not kind of. I am hitting pan, so that's a bit peak. I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks a bit. All this brushish. Oh my god, all the hairs are coming off this brush. Well, that's not nice, is it? I'm going to grab a new one. I'm going to take this trusty little brush here. Um, just a little bit here, a little bit on my forehead. I love bronzer. I mean, you probably can't tell that much on camera, but in real life, it all just, you know, comes together and it's like one of my favourite things. And I'm gonna, I want a bit of blush on. So I'm just going to use this little P. Louise, one of these sandwich palettes. Um, this is the the first palette of the sandwich stages and I'm literally just going to use that little orange one there because it's like more of a corally shading. Oh shit baby. Oh my god that is so pigment. Uh, uh, uh. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Let's just blend it out. Oh my god that is so pigmented. I mean I literally only touched it lightly. Can do my hair on camera? Can I do my hair on camera? I'm going to have to move you. Oh, I'm sweating. The heating's on again. Do my hair. So let me just put that baby down. So I've just brushed my hair. And I've put the straighteners on. I'm just going to do a little curl in my hair. And then I'm going to push it back. I've obviously got two breaths. <laughs> Just a bit cute. I mean, I put lip gloss on, but it's going to get ruined anyway. I want to put my mask on. A couple of things I didn't answer was, um, someone asked, who's my outfit inspiration? And, oh my God, there's a few. Um, so, Lizzie Ruddy, Miss Jocelyn, Sarah Jo Holder. Um, Hannah Whiting, Beck. The name i'll put them here anyway they're pretty much all the kind kind of same style kind of same vibes and stuff um but they're my favorite people ever and then favorite designer items that i own this wire cell bag and my other wire cell bag i'll show you this wire cell bag because 
literally from when I was younger, I've loved YSL. I wanted to buy a YSL bag and I used to think, I'm never gonna get to buy a YSL bag, but I brought it to her, so that's cute. Um, my Balenciaga jumper, just cause it was a lot of money, but I wouldn't buy it again. Reason being is inside it's not very fluffy. It's quite it's kind of like a towel inside and it doesn't feel that warm. So I mean for that much money you kind of want it to make you warm kind of thing. I don't know. I love it, but I wouldn't buy it again. Um my Balenciaga necklace, I love this. I'm literally obsessed with jewellery, so this is my favourite piece of jewellery. And the most expensive piece, I mean, I don't really spend the box on a uh, jewellery, although I wear it all the time because I know I'll lose it. This I spent a lot of money on, so I'll make sure I keep it safe. Um, and that's it. But that's my video, guys. Um, I'm going shopping now. So we're going to spend more money than I want to, but it's okay. I'm going to try and get some early Christmas presents. I'm going to try and be, you know, organised and stuff. If you could subscribe to my channel, keep up with me, or you want to see how I store other clothes, you know, like my cute little outfits and stuff, follow my Instagram, I'll link that here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. See you soon.